B. Name a celebrity that you would leave me for at the instant. I don't want to say it. It's fine. Come on. I won't be hurt. Okay. okay. We'll say it at the same time. We have one. Okay. I have one too. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. one. Steve, Steve Buscemi. Buscemi. I know Steve. How do you know Steve? I spent a glorious night with Steve for your information. Oh, did you? I did. did you? I did. He knows really? how to treat me right. Oh, does he? He does. So we're learning about residential areas, like learning how to sign them, and then she slips up and she writes. <laughs> she writes condom breath, <laughs> and then <laughs> I get up. <laughs> I'd rather smile and simply state that I have a full-time job as an accountant. As an accountant. Nobody asks you questions when you say you're an accountant. What do you do? I'm an accountant. Where do you work? At a place where accountants... Back to the computer. Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. Let's see if I got any new comments. Oh man. This has been in my head all day. Do we all remember this show, right? We remember this show? Okay, it's based off a play, an Icelandic play, which is based off a series of books, which are also Icelandic. And in that book series, they confirm that with Lazy Town, there are six other towns that all together represent the seven deadly sins, okay? There's greedy, liar, mayhem, right? So there's a lust town too, right? Then there's a second play, which is also Icelandic. And in this play, this man, shows up. Does he look familiar? He fucking should. Do you see the resemblance? Now, so, he shows up and makes everyone lazy, right? And then, Elf comes along, his name is Sporticus, and he makes people not lazy anymore. So, if there is a lust town, then that means there is someone making people lustful, and then there's a version of Sporticus who's like making people practice abstinence and chastity, and I want to see that show more than anything, please. Listen to this idea I just thought of. I genuinely think I may have just cracked the cord. Why don't people have children with their friends? That just seems to make so much more sense to me. Like relationships are so hard to find. People fall out, people get divorced, kids are all sad. Why don't you just have a kid with your mates? You'll never fall out with them. My mates, they're all exactly like me. We'd have a well sick kid. It just seems like, so. it just makes so much more sense. If any of my mates listening, they want to have a kid, I'm well up for it. Let's get one, let's get one booked in. Because that just makes loads more sense to me. I don't know why everyone's not doing it. Bob. Just because you sit in a human chair does not mean that you can have human food. Regardless, I ate the mac and cheese, it's gone. And I wouldn't give you any anyways. You have, you have a hair on your nose. Because you're lactose intolerant. I know I'm also lactose intolerant, but that's none of your business. You don't get to call me out for that. I mean, like, you can't, I'm, what do you want from me? What? I know, I'm sorry. I ate it all. I probably shouldn't have ate it all. Oh, all right. Are we fighting? Are you okay? Are we in a fight? You just turn. He literally just. Uh It's not fair. It's literally not fair that I didn't get to live my teenage years as a coming of age movie. It's not fair that I wasn't the awkward girl who liked to read books. And then the bad boy stoner dropout looked at me and was like, you're different. Because I am different. 
I am not like these other girls out here. I deserve to experience that. I deserve to wear ripped jeans and white Converse and cry in my high school bathroom. That should have been my right. Do you hear the music in the background? This was supposed to be playing at my high school graduation as I look back at my stoner boyfriend and said, Where are you now? And then he would say, I'll follow you anywhere. And then I would say, you're crazy. And then he would say, crazy about you. Oh my God. So my professor basically gave us a cheat code to life and she was saying all of the most successful people use the same strategy to basically make all their dreams come true. So basically you are 42% more likely to achieve any lofty goal if you put it down on paper. But the thing is you have to rephrase it to be in the present tense and add a timeline. So I put this on paper and then like a month later and now I have almost half a million followers. So I went and wrote down every single one of my absolutely craziest dreams on this board. And every time one gets finished, I have to move it to the other side. So every time one of my dreams comes true, I'm going to duet this just to show you guys that this legit works. People who don't know where the clit is. Sportacus, Bakugo, James Coleman, this guy from Demon Slayer, Steve, Finks, Rusty, Gideon Gleeful, Loxus Dreyer, Free, Olive Sejo, Tyler Joseph, anyone who ever owned mustache duct tape, Escanor, anyone with lamb chops, Kokichi, Tamaki's grandma, JJ, Nebraska, thank you for your time! <laughs> One of my absolute favorites, but sometimes least favorite thing, is when the kids, <laughs> I'm reading them a book, and I, uh, there's baby owls in it. So I go, okay, who remembers what baby owls are called? And one of them will say, I know. Great, what is it? I don't know. Then why'd you say you did? Check your email boxes because I just got caught up on my emails and I learned a lot about, um, I guess there's like a virus. For the boys with the booming system, top down AC with the cooling system. When he come up in the club, he be blazing up. Got stacks on deck like he's saving up. And he ill, he real, he might got a deal.